Hi friends, it's Missy. I'm going to read a story today called Fall is for Friends. And who remembers what we're talking about for our study right now? Trees. And what are some of the parts of the trees? Leaves, branches, roots. So let's see how many parts of the tree they talk about in this story. Susie Duckin loved everything about fall. She loved wrapping herself in big cozy sweaters. She loved crisp apples and big orange pumpkins. We see a lot of pumpkins right now. But most of all, she loved jumping into piles of leaves with her best friend, Emily, until they took the first running leap ever. It didn't feel as if fall had really arrived. That's the season that we're in right now, fall or autumn. See them jumping in the leaves. Big pile of leaves. Mm. When are the leaves going to fall, Susie wondered. Maybe they just need a little help, declared Emily. Right? Right now we're starting to see a lot of the leaves that are on the trees fall to the ground. And what else is happening, do we see? They're changing colors. Mm. Some are orange, some are yellow, some are red. Susie had never thought of that. You mean we could help the leaves fall off the trees, she asked Emily. Of course, her friend said confidently. This is us we're talking about. Now all the girls had to do was figure out how to get the leaves to drop. They needed a plan. They had so many ideas. Back in Susie's room, they piled all the things they might need into a big cardboard box. First, Susie and Emily tried leading a cheer to make the leaves want to fall from the trees. Fall, leaves, fall. That's what we say. Hit the ground so we can play. <clears throat> it looks like they're trying to say to the leaves to fall down off the tree. Do you think they can make them fall off the tree? Let's see. When that didn't work, Emily said, maybe we should show the leaves what fun it would be to fall. So the friends set to work cutting leaf shapes out of construction paper and taping them all over each other. Let's show them how it's done, Emily said. The two girls began to dance and spin among the trees. Oh, how I love to ride a gentle breeze and fall softly to the ground, Emily said in a dreamy voice. Looks like they're having fun playing in the leaves. Emily quickly became so dizzy that she actually did fall, but it wasn't softly. I am floating, I am free, said Susie, tripping over Emily. This time Susie tried a little magic. Leaves of brilliant red and gold fall before we both grow old, she commanded. The leaves stayed right where they were. Does it look like they were falling off the trees? No. As the friends wondered what to do next, Emily began to hum a tune. Emily always hummed when she was concentrating especially hard. That's it, shouted Susie suddenly. We'll sting the leaves off the trees. Oh, so now it sounds like they're gonna try and sing to make them come off the tree. 
Songs can help you think. Songs can make you happy. Some songs can make you want to get up and dance. Susie continued. So why can't a song make the leaves want to fall off the trees? Well, what are we waiting? What are they waiting for? Asked Emily. Let's make up a fall song. So now they're going to make up a song about fall, the season that we're in. A little while later, the girls joined hands, took a deep breath and sang, blow breeze, blow leaves, gently to the ground. My friend and I are waiting and fall is all around. But still, it doesn't look like the leaves are falling off the trees yet. We did it, the girls whispered to each other in amazement. Now it looks like the, tr the leaves are falling off the trees. Now it felt like fall. So the leaves came off the trees and they're playing in the leaves, all the different colored leaves, the gold ones, the red ones, the orange ones. I hope you like that story, friends. Bye.